Redditors who lost their job because of a post to a social media platform. What happened? I worked customer support for a mobile game company. I was honest with a disheartened customer. Who had complained that recent changes had made the game pay to win. It had. In truth. Been a glitch with an update. I told them as much. Assuring them the team would be fixing it in the next update. But then the game's profit skyrocketed. The team kept the glitch. And put out a statement describing the change as an intentional one designed to improve the player experience. But there was my name. Plastered all over the game forums. Claiming the opposite. I technically worked for a separate company that provided support for several studios. But the studio behind this game was our biggest customer. They approached my bosses. Furious I jeopardized their cash cow. And demanded I be fired. I promptly became familiar with the underside of the bus. As I was gone within the week. TL. DR. Worked customer support for mobile games. Told truth. Went viral. Ish. Fired. Didn't lose my job. But I watched a friend lose his over a tweet. He tweeted so getting head while delivering pizzas is pretty sweet one night while he was working. The next morning he tweeted yo you papa johns I don't need you or your stupid job anyway or something to that effect. I used to work for Jeek squad in college and a co-worker was fired when a famous actor came in and she posted on Facebook a lot of his private info. Like full name came into our store and bought this and this and has a black Amex card and stuff he had on his computer. Not once but on two separate occasions. That's a special kind of stupid. She could have got herself and the company into a lot of trouble. A former colleague of mine posted about how he was going to use up all his sick leave and quit. He posted it at 9am. He was told he had no more job at 11. If you want to keep a secret then don't tell it to anyone. Edit. Add on to this because I keep getting the same response. Two men can keep a secret. Not me. But the company I work for. A prospective employee just passed his interview. And was told that all he needs to do is pass a drug test and a physical and he would start on Monday. The company Facebook guy found the new hire on Facebook and the guy had just posted 20 minutes after the interview. Exclamation point. Anyone know how to pass a drug test in 24 hours? Edit. The guy's job is not Facebook guy. He is the social media marketing and customer service guy. Promotes the business. Talks with people and posts to social media websites. And will people learn? You go to Reddit for advice like that. Not Facebook. I was younger and an idiot. I posted something on Facebook about wanting to go home and play the sim so I could create telecommunications store I worked for on it and then slowly kill off all the customers. I was working a late night shift in a mall and forgot our new co-worker had added me on Facebook days before. Joined a game studio alongside a guy who'd just finished his philosophy degree. He felt that the game's official forums were the best place to discuss whether disabled people would be of as much value as pigs after a post-apocalyptic event. And if they should be simply slaughtered and eaten. All using his company account. Of course. I've had one employer refuse to hire me because I didn't have a Facebook at the time. Wasn't a HR or social job. It was a fast food joint. Would have been funny if you made a Facebook account with just your boss and your dad on it. Make only posts about how much you love your job on there. That's just a butt that manager with control freak tendencies. They can't stalk you on social media? Guess you aren't trustworthy. I was let go from the nation's third largest insurance company for what were called offensive tweets. Apparently someone with my similar name was tweeting vulgar things to comedy accounts and they brought me into HR and terminated me. Yes I sued for wrongful termination. So I could finish getting my MBA. I was once passed over for a job because I barely use Facebook. They straight up told me that they couldn't trust me because of how little info was on my page. For future reference. I'm sorry employers that 90% of my Facebook page is related to Starcraft and or miscellaneous gaming. 
I'm sorry that I don't get drunk and post embarrassing photos of things you could fire me over. My personal life is my business and not Facebook's. You must construct additional profiles. We require more discreditable posts. A company I worked for had it written into their 7 page contracts that you were not allowed to even reference said company on social media. Anyone in breach would be fired instantly. There's a page on Facebook called We Hate that's currently one of the world's biggest corporate hate pages. It all started when someone working in our call center posted online about how much the customers suck. Then began something of the war between the staff and customers. Customers posting on employees walls and vice versa. The company was is a major player in its market, essentially had a monopoly, and there was a noticeable drop in sales that year. All in all. Around 20 people were fired. Edit. I'm from the UK. So not Comcast. I didn't work in the call center either. But everyone knew everyone else. Also. I don't know what the story is but holy this Converges company sounds bollocks. Converges. It is. I know it is. Remember the story. Edit. Holy moly I didn't realize so many people worked at and despised Converges. Ex charter agent at Lake Mary. FL branch here. I work in a hospital and there was a police shooting in my area a couple of years ago and multiple officers were brought into our ER. One officer was DOA and a number of idiot hospital employees posted condolences on their Facebook pages with the name of the officer before the family was officially informed. If memory serves 7 or 8 employees were rightfully fired for that one. I don't understand why people do this when they know better. I work in him and compliance and a few months ago a guy called saying his ex-wife and mother-in-law were telling his friends and family that he was seeing a therapist and gave specific details. Turns out X and Mill both work at different clinics. But can access the same EMR. I ran an audit and sure as. I reported them and they were both immediately fired. That's terrible. How much more in healthcare professionals have the HIPAA laws drilled into their heads? I know someone had had their pregnancy exposed on social media by a friend that works in the imaging department at the hospital. Not me. But a co-worker of mine was fired recently because he got caught sneaking off work to smoke weed and drink by Facebook. This moron would post post photos of him smoking and drinking on Facebook. The boss found out and predictably fired him on the spot. The best part. This guy was almost 30 years old. And not just some dumb teenager. Not me. But a girl on my Facebook worked for the postal service in my town. She posted on Facebook how she wanted to slit her boss's throat and went into some gory details. Then. About 5 hours later. She posted another status about how the feds showed up at her house and that one of her co-workers had showed her boss the status and she was now fired. She's obviously really dumb and trashy. Going postal. I had to fire an employee for a tweet he wrote about a customer. He tweeted, customer's full name, would be a great name for a gay PRN star. I found out about it when the customer's lawyer called me the next day threatening action. Turns out the guy worked for the local newspaper and obsessively searched his name on all social media. What else do you expect with a name like a suck man? Not me but in my town was a very public case where the girls basketball ball coach lost her job because. She posted a picture of her husband touching her breast on Facebook. Lots of people got mad and she got her job back. Now her and her husband. Who is a coach at a different school. Are leaving to coach at a charter school in a different town. Teachers aren't supposed to be real people. I had to fire someone for one. He was a volunteer firefighter and left for a call which I allowed. 15 minutes later someone showed me his 5 minute old post of him riding quads saying something along the lines of sometimes you just need to f off from work. That put him on a final warning. He then left because he said his house was on fire then half an hour later his wife tagged him in a photo of him sitting in a kiddie pool in front of his house. The funny thing is. In both cases. If he had simply asked to leave early I probably would have said yes. Edit. To clarify. This was over different days a few weeks apart and he worked for me but also volunteered as a firefighter. 
The fire chief also found out about this and dismissed him from that position as well. This guy had a few issues needless to say and honesty was not something with which he was familiar. My female friend, 18, was DM'd through Twitter by the news presenter, 37, of our city. He was talking about her beach pictures and how she is really pretty and how they need to get together. She ended up telling him that it's pretty ridiculous that he's trying to get with her. He lost his job later that week. The only real reason he lost his job was because he used the weather channel's twitter account. Oh. This happened to me many years ago. I was on the job a week at a law firm. And had to ride with one of the female employees to the UPS store. She was a terrible driver. And almost wrecked multiple times. I posted on Facebook. One week on the job and my co-worker is trying to kill me. Worst driver ever. The next day I was called into my boss's office with a girl sitting there with an expressionless look on her face. And there was a printout of my post. It was awkward and they fired me on the spot. All of my account information was also set to private. So they figured a way to check my activity. You have a mutual friend with that girl. I remember hearing a story about a young teacher in my province getting fired for posting vacation pictures to Facebook. Bikini. Margaritas. A dip parent or teacher reported it. As any uptight group of PTA mothers would want to defend young eyes from that. That's stupid. See this is the sort of that s me off. A teacher who is on holiday has the right to privacy and should be allowed to do whatever they want outside the school. So long as she is not wearing bikinis and drinking margaritas in school. I am a-okay with it. What people do outside their work lives. And on holiday especially. Is of no concern to anyone. I didn't actually get fired. Because I just don't post about work. But I did once get written up. Almost suspended. But my supervisor convinced management he needed me for the shifts that day. Once. I was scheduled to work a double. 16 hours. No breaks in between. 3 days in a row. Before I went in for my last double. I updated my Facebook saying I am so tired. They literally tried to suspend me for that. Guy at my company got sacked for putting a Facebook status along the lines of FNG immigrants. I hate them not realizing both his bosses, also owners of the company, were second generation immigrants from India. They started the company from scratch and now employ 30 people. They pay for full gym membership. Healthcare and generous pension for all the staff. Which he had to say goodbye to when he was fired. How's that for your effing immigrants? Edit. Not me. But a teacher got fired because she had been tagged in a photo on Facebook of her in a brewery. She'd gone on a tour while on vacation. She wasn't holding beer or anything. It was just in the photo. I didn't get fired but I did get written up for a post on Facebook. It was about 5 years ago at my old job. Spring just started and it was the first day it was in the 60s. On lunch I posted something like what a beautiful day. Can't wait to get out of work and enjoy it. Well that didn't go over well. Funny thing is. I wasn't Facebook friends with anyone from work. They had one guy that would creep people's FB. This is when I learned about privacy settings. He told the boss and I got pulled in the office. They basically asked why I didn't like my job and why I couldn't wait to get out of work. I was like. It's the first warm day in what feels like 6 months. Of course I want to be outside. The reason I got written up was because I was on Facebook at work even though I was on lunch. Bunch of assholes worked at that place. Not me. But a friend of mine. He and his girlfriend, at the time, both worked at Zeller's. He worked as the head cook in the in-store restaurant. And she worked as a server hostess. After a few years of being together. They decided to get married. They announced their engagement proudly to everyone. And the branch manager of their Zellers gave them a massive discount on food and supplies for the wedding. The wedding preparation took nearly a year. But they pulled it off and had a great wedding. When they went to return to work. However. My friend's wife was promptly dismissed because husbands and wives aren't allowed to work in the same department. After months of lead up to their wedding. 
The manager somehow forgot to inform the happy couple that getting married would mean one of them being let go. So my friend posted on his Facebook. Zellers has a policy where a husband and wife may not work in the same department. Because they did not tell me and my wife this policy. My wife has been fired. If you disagree with this policy. Please contact Zellers at. The next day. He was fired as well. I had a co-worker who posted something about shooting up X World TM and got reported. He had several co-workers on his Facebook page. And then fired. Another co-worker is consistently posting hateful things about his job and his co-workers. But has not been fired yet, just reprimanded. On a sort of related note. I was suspended in high school because a friend posted a terrorist threat via my Facebook. One of our best agents got fired for this. She was a single mom. Fairly new to the job but she was great at it. She posted up I hate having to go work but I'm blessed to have a job at company name bam walked out the door not me but a few years ago i knew a girl doing social media for entertainments the pastry people well this was also around the time of the casey anthony trial and the day the verdict was released she tweeted who's not guilty about eating all the tasty treats they want it seriously blew up and she ended up getting fired a few days later she was pretty upset about it for a while I posted my Facebook status about how big of dickhead my boss is. And tagged him. He fired you for that? What a dickhead. I lost my job because I was upset at my boss and I put it on Facebook. A customer threatened me and instead of kicking me out. The boss bought him free shots. Someone I know posted something about a customer on her Facebook. Nothing revealing about the customer. Just ugh. Don't you hate when your customers are too I'm dumb to our TFM? A friend of hers. Who worked for a competing business. Took a screenshot of that status. Including the profile pic of her in her work uniform. This then found itself posted on the competitor's FB page with the text don't worry guys she doesn't work here. Anyway. She got fired. Not exactly the same thing. But I once had my college call me asking if I was still planning on attending. Apparently they had looked at my Facebook and found a picture of me in some other college's shirt. It was just one of my brother's shirts. I didn't think anything of it. But it was kind of freaky that they were going to those lengths. Apparently signing your white boss up for black people meet. Com was not acceptable even as a joke. A guy at my company got fired for posting a picture of weed, illegal here, sat on top of his company security pass, with his name and the company's name in plain view. Frankly he was too stupid to have a job. At the moment German Facebook is full of anti-refugees. Anti-asylum and all kinds of pedida related pages. Some of the comments on there are very hateful to put it lightly. Holocaust references, gas them. Send them to camps. Etc. Dot. Comma plenty. Well the people commenting on the brightest most of the time and they don't realize that their comments are a. Public B. In some cases illegal and C. Have consequences in the real world. Loads of people had to go to court. Fine or fired from their job already. So to answer your question. Many companies from small family owned to multinationals take it very seriously. The example I was given during new hire orientation. Someone's fiance sent a bunch of flowers to her at work. She took a picture of them at her desk and uploaded them to Facebook. In the background were a couple clearly readable classified documents. Understandably. Once HR found out she got terminated. I once got fired from a state government job for criticizing a local representative in a letter to the editor in a newspaper. I'm just here hoping to see a response from Ellen Powell. I got fired from a delivery job because I called out my employer on there. Some of their younger drivers were drinking and driving and my former employer knew about it but didn't do anything about it. Never mind the drug deals that went down in the bag. That place. They've recently fired everyone. Including the management and hire new people. Sue so where does social media factor in your termination? 
I once didn't get a job since I don't have Facebook act. Apparently they wanted to see the kind of person I was. And I told them I like my privacy. Edit. This is my first 1k plus comment O. Capital O. Edit 2. And my first gold. Thanks. I've walked out of an interview because they wanted my Facebook login. Got accused of stealing money from the staff locker room when I was actually going to the toilet. Flipped my. Straight to FB talking about throwing my manager out of the office window. A guy I work with got fired for planking. And the world is as it should be. Life pro tip. Don't friend any co-workers on FB. Redditors bombarded my employer with hate mail telling them I should be fired. I lost my job and my house. Love you guys. Not me. But a girl I went to college with, in the same program as me, interviewed for a position at the school I teach at. The principal loved her but then we found tweets from her asking to borrow a gun to go to the interview, I teach at an urban. In a city school. It gets worse. She then went on to post a similar status on Facebook. Something to the tune of my ride to work will be all click. Click. Lock in my doors. The principal printed out the tweets and confronted her with them at the final interview. She said they were meant as a joke and the principal stone face responded I'm not laughing. She was blacklisted. She still, four years or so later, cannot get a teaching job. Had a co-worker who was 40 years old take drunk pictures while playing beer pong and partying with minors. All while wearing our very noticeable company branded shirt. He put all the pictures on Facebook and could not understand why he was fired. He saw nothing wrong with it. I have heard of several teachers lose their jobs due to something they post online. Parents hold teachers to a higher standard than others. Low pay. Little respect and oh yeah. Everything you do in public will be scrutinized. There was a guy in Toronto who said her rights in the PSSY during a news broadcast. Who lost his jobs and he apparently had a really good job. That's kinda like posting something posted over social media. I didn't lose my job. But corporate had to tell me personally to take down my tweet and gave me quite the scolding. It was 4 stroke 20 weekend and I worked at a pizza place so I thought hey this will be a smart idea and tweeted that if anyone had a munchies they should order a pizza from me. My boss didn't think it was such a smart idea even though it's like the best kind of advertising ever. They told me I would be fired if I did anything like it again. Two years later Jack in the box is doing the same damn thing and making millions. Lost it due to LinkedIn. Boss wanted to control what I had on it. I told him I was not comfortable with him trying to dictate my social account. And that's how I became unemployed. In 2009. I was quoted in an article that was published on FB and then shared by one of my friends. The owner of the company for which I worked saw it and fired me immediately saying I just wasn't fitting in with the culture. I had volunteered at the NORML tent during the Pride Festival. And I told him I would take a drug test right then and there, I wasn't smoking pot at the time. But he said it wasn't that. It was the other thing. The VP at the time told me I was fired because it was now public knowledge that I was at a gay festival. The VP was, is, gay and had been keeping it a secret because of the stigma around the company. I filed for unemployment and they rejected it saying I had been late to work too frequently, less than 5 minutes. Two times in a year. If I hadn't found something else within two weeks. I would have fought it. Those jerks. A co-worker of mine got fired. Leading to me getting a huge promotion and pay raise and taking her position. We had had a staff meeting that day at lunch. During which this employee and my boss disagreed and debated on a topic. Respectfully. The employee went home and that night posted a long status that. Although it didn't say my boss or anyone's name in particular. Was obviously about what had happened at the meeting. My boss was battling breast cancer at the time. And the employee posted something like. Hate that goddamn bitch. Can't wait till the cancer gets you. Everyone at work had been Facebook friends with her and knew about it by the following morning. She was let go within the week. Edit. 
Oh. I forgot about a second incident. Another girl I worked with had been posting statuses and pictures all weekend of her getting drunk at this annual wine festival our town has. She called in sick to work on Monday and was let go because obviously she was just hungover. I work for Facebook and I got fired for posting I hate this job as my status and tagging my boss and various inappropriate pictures. You currently work for Facebook or you did?